workers across Florida are demanding change after this viral video showed a customer attacking a McDonald's employee in St. Pete. All of this over a straw. News Channel H to Mel and A spoke to workers on strike demanding protection. McDonald's and other fast food chain workers are demanding that companies protect their employees from violence and safety threats. No more silence. Stop the violence. The last straw movement is making waves. Fast food workers are demanding change after McDonald's employee Yasmin James was attacked on the job last week by customer Daniel Taylor. Today, dozens held a strike in several cities across Florida. Stuff like this should not happen in McDonald's, and they should get training for their managers to know what to do. You know, the young lady shouldn't have had to call the police herself. The manager should have been able to deal with that situation properly. Wesley Williams works at the McDonald's in South Florida. He claims confrontations with customers occur all the time. They're just not always caught on camera. We shouldn't have to be working in fear that we're going to be beaten or we're going to be harmed. We don't come there to be beaten. We come there to make a, a, a honest day living, not to be attacked. Laura Rawlings traveled from Fort Lauderdale to support James. She's been with McDonald's for more than 25 years. I worry because we have, like I said, we have customers come in there and we don't know what their uh, um, mind is, is about or what, what, what they're thinking. Or, you know, I mean, they go out and come in and just go to shooting. Like, you know, you see that a lot on the news. Still emotional from the attack, James thanked her supporters and vowed to keep fighting. I would love if you guys go to laststrawmovement.org to continue to support me because I will continue to fight for women and workplace safety. James and her attorneys are expected to meet with McDonald's officials. As for Taylor, he remains behind bars. In St. Petersburg, Jamel and A, News Channel 8.